Hello everyone, welcome back. Today it's you guys' turn to help me out. Um, I got two G26s, I'm trying to debug, and I'm out of ideas. I do not know how to get these two guns to work here. Uh, these are both G26s. Um, uh, they got the Brownells slide, um, Hollow Sun optics, uh, Amerigo iron sights on it. So, I, now here's the thing, I've you know, I, I mean, as you guys know by now from watching my channel, I have built many of these P80s successfully, so it's not like I'm doing this for the first time. I know how to clean out the channel completely. I know how to work the rails to get them even. Um, you know, so, so you know, so this is a serious problem. Because like I said, this isn't the first time I'm doing this. And um, I've, uh, you know, I've gotten many of these P80s to work before. I'm kind of out of ideas with this. So, I even got here an original Glock magazine, and the ammunition that I'm starting off with is Winchester Ranger, which is 124 grain, so it's, it's, you know, it's going to be a slight bit hotter, so I'm hoping that it might help the gun cycle, but it's, as you guys are going to see in a minute, that's not going to do anything. So, let's shoot this. Alright, so, here we go. The slide does not come back far enough to pick the next round, or uh, sometimes it just doesn't, you know, sometimes it, it doesn't eject at all. So let's manually put that in the chamber. All right, same deal, didn't come far back enough. I did polish the feed ramps, try to get them as smooth as I can. I even uh, polished the top of the barrel, um, you know, trying to get it as, as smooth as possible there we go same thing brown nail slide all the same exact stuff same thing not feeding okay that's also a different barrel right so this is a stainless steel barrel this is you know a different barrel I don't know where it came from but um, I have I have done work on these get that Let's try this one more time Oh, actually, that was the last round. I did get lock, lockout on the last round, interestingly enough. So, so that's, that's really interesting. Yeah, that's, sometimes it doesn't lock out. So it doesn't always lock out on the, on the last round. Let's get a few more through this one. Right, wow, now we fucking think that actually working. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. The interesting thing is the blue one typically works better for me. Uh, this tan one usually doesn't work as well. And at the moment, it seems to be working. Let's try some more on this. This is working. You know what? Like, I did this like 10 minutes ago. I couldn't even get two bullets to go through this thing. So there's some inconsistency here. Let's go back to this one over here. Same thing using the Glock mag. So these are like right on the edge of working and not working. Okay, so there's like some minor work I got to do. And I just don't know where to do that minor work. Alright, let's try this one. Alright, so fail to feed. Alright, so this is doing the same thing that it was doing earlier. Now, that one, even though you saw that working a minute ago, 10 minutes before I did this video, that gun was doing the same thing that this gun was doing. Now, I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to take this out. Make sure that's empty. Now, here's the thing I'm going to tell you guys right now. If you guys are, when you guys are doing gun debugging, that's when you got to be like really extra careful about knowing when you got around the chamber, when you're not. So anytime I pick up these guns, I'm like constantly doing this shit um, because it's really easy to lose track of what's in there. Sometimes these slides will just lock up and you just can't get them open. So you got to, you know, as you're sitting there trying to force them open, you got to make sure you're pointing this gun in a safe direction. Um, and especially if you're working with somebody else, you know, that's when, that's when gun safety really counts when you're trying to debug this shit. So anyway, uh, working on this, hold on, let's just try a few more on this. See if this will work. Did not lock out that time, but we did manage to get a couple of shots to run through this. 
So, uh, so like I said, this thing is like on the edge of working and not working. And I, I cannot figure out how to get these guns to work consistently. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm using the 124 grain bullets. Oh, by the way, I'm also, um, I also got the uh, 16, uh, 14 pound springs in here. Normally you put 16 pound springs in here. Since I'm having such a hard time with the slides coming back, I got the lightest spring that I could possibly get. Although that can sometimes be a problem. Because when you put a really a, a lighter spring in there, sometimes the gun doesn't close. All right. So for example, um, sometimes it'll it'll feed, but it'll go. You know, it it, it won't. You know, it'll kind of won't go into battery with the lighter spring. So, but right now I'm working with the slightly lighter spring, the 14 pound spring. Let's see if we can get the sucker to work. All right. So that time failed to feed. So like I said, I'm like right on the edge of it, figuring out how this thing's gonna work. I, I kind of think it's the slide at this point. So these are two Brownell slides. One of the things that I didn't notice, if I hold down the trigger and run the slide back and forth, there is a little bit more resistance. So for whatever reason, holding down the trigger and running the slide back and forth causes a, a, a little extra re resistance. It's more pronounced before I hold it. I have oiled the shit out of the guns. Um, but let's, let's try something different. I have here a G19 and something I recently found out that I did not know is that your G19, your G19 slide will fit on your G26. All right, it will fit on it. And you can actually, I believe they sell some kind of aftermarket shit here to, uh, you know, to close this gap if you want to. Um, although I'm not interested in that, I, I, I'm just testing this gun out. Um, so let's get some more of this ammo in there. Okay, this is now with a G19 slide on it. All right, so that's working reliably. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these ETS magazines now, and I'm going to put some steel case ammo through it. Because for whatever reason, it's working a lot more reliably with that slide, which is why I believe it's something to do with the slide. And I, I have not figured out what. So this is with Tula ammo. Okay, there you go. That's a Tula ammo. And the G19 slide. No problems with this gun working with the G19 slide. All right, ETS magazine here. Let me go back to the other. All right, so same, same magazine. There's some tool ammo in there. I'm spending a freaking fortune trying to get this gun to work. It would have been way cheaper if I just bought it, but hell no. I had to defy Biden and build these guns. And just buy a gun. I would rather build guns just because Biden said not to build guns. So I think Biden is trying to bankrupt me if that's his evil plan. All right, so steel case ammo now, ETS slide, ETS mag damage. So same, same ammo, same magazine. That slide is not coming back far enough to pick up that round. Right, same thing. Okay, so like I said, both of these slides are Brownell slides. So I think I have isolated the problem with the Brownell slides. All right, where are you? Okay. So this is what I mean about gun safety, because you know when you're doing gun debugging, you're going back and forth, trying different stuff constantly. Really easy to lose track of what's in your chamber, what's not, especially when your gun gets, you know, sometimes I've had situations where I can't get the gun open at all. I can't get the you know, you know, or the gun will come back, but I can't, uh, I can't pull the trigger to get the slide off. In which case, you got basically, you know, uh, press down on that little um, on the on the channel liner, and then while you're pressing down with an Allen key, you got to push your your uh, uh, your end plate out and pull out your firing pin. That's the only way to get your slide off um, when you get to the point that you can't uh, decock the gun. All right, so now we got the back back to the G19 uh, slide. This is nothing, you know. This is basically an eBay slide, right? eBay barrel. 
So it's nothing like it's not like I spent a ton of money on this particular slide. All right, so you can see how this slide with steel case ammo with a cheap ETS magazine, it works. So I could use some help from you guys. What do you guys think it is? Um, because I'm like kind of out of ideas. I know I'm like right there on the edge of getting these things to work or not work. As you saw, sometimes they will work. Uh, but I, I would like to get them a little bit more reliable. So uh, please post some comments in the comment section. If you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. Talk to you guys soon.